Hello everybody, just a little message before this uh, Diamond Select Vinimates video gets started. Uh, right now on Big Bad Toy Store, you can get this pack and the both other two packs that I'm currently reviewing. Uh, right now on Big Bad Toy Store for $20 each before shipping. So make sure you get yours in case you're interested. Anyways, back to the video. Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. My name is Matthew and today we are reviewing... The Godzilla Diamond Select Vinny Mates Godzilla 1954. Uh, this is part of a two pack release, but I'm reviewing them individually because I know some people have. So I'm kind of giving my thoughts on them individually, then together. So, uh, to start, uh, sculpt and paint wise, this is actually the basis for what would come for all future Godzillas in this line. Uh, mainly the body, but we'll talk about the head. Holy heck. This head sculpt is so dang accurate. Like, I'm serious. This looks like... <laughs> it looks so accurate. I don't know how they made it so accurate to the movie. But this does look so much like the 54 Godzilla. I wish his mouth was a bit more open instead of just like, just shut permanently. But honestly, it's not that bad. Um, the teeth are individually painted, which looks really nice. Eyes are looking pretty good. My right eye has a bit of dribble to more towards the back, but honestly, it's not much of a big deal. Uh, have some claw paint right here, looking really nice. Uh, has that little indent that Vinnie Mates normally have. Uh, so I can hold something. Not sure where you exactly hold, but hey, it's a welcome addition, I guess. Uh, body looks really nice with all of its like detail and slight like, gloss to it. Really glossy legs, though. And then here we have the four-toed feet that Godzilla 54 is known for having. Paint's looking pretty good, too. Uh, applied nicely. All the way at the bottom, too. And uh, for the spines, beautifully painted. Beautifully sculpted, and these spines just scream 54. Look at that. And then the tail ends off like that. Uh, not much in the realm of detail, though you do get some nice segmenting, uh, though. And it's painted all the way down to the tip, so at least they paint the tips on, like, Bandai. Come on, Bandai even can't even do a heat ray Godzilla correctly. Um, but for posability... Uh, he has an articulated head. I forgot to mention the ears. Really pointy ears, too. Articulated head. Kind of tight on mine, but hey. And uh, also, some articulation at the tail. Although, mine's a bit creaky. So, that's uh, something to note. But when you're, when, if you get yours in the single release that look like Funko Pop boxes, yours comes disattached, so you're going to have to plug it in but um yeah that's kind of about it um on a single release uh level so let's do some size comparisons so for some size comparisons and comparisons in general here's a comparisons with um my fir very first two 54 godzillas with the NECA 1954 which is one of my favorite figures in the whole collection totally not biased towards NECA figures in my collection and uh the 1954 first godzilla figure from bandai creation which um, for head sculpt, they're so dang similar. Nega's got like a bit of a more frown look to him. But this is really dang good. Another thing is the spines, like. Dang, look at that. Um, bringing in the Bandai one for a comparison. Um, I will say that the this does a better job uh, replicating the 54 head than this one did. But, oh, it looks like you're trying to climb on top of them. But the spines are really well done on both, like the frosted tips on this one. But this one looks more cartoony, while this one looks more realistic in a sense. Because I think real creatures would have a blend going on instead of a cartoony transition like this. So for another comparison, here he is with some other 50s era Godzilla figures. With the NECA 1956 Atomic Blast uh, figure, poster version, whatever you want to call them. 
uh, the Johnny Lightning 50 year uh, Godzilla with Jeep. This is made of a uh, poly resin and some Godzilla UB finger puppets. And wow, these things are collecting like a whole lot of dust, but I barely take them off the shelf anyway. They just kind of look cool. So I'm proud to say another 54 Godzilla has entered the collection. Also, if anyone's wondering why this one has blue dorsal plates while this one has gray, this is a custom paint, which you can find more info about on my uh, UB Finger Puppets uh, custom paint video, so go check that out if you do so, please. And just a uh, comparison for fun, here he is with a Funko Pop Godzilla from the 2021 movie, because um, honestly, these two are about the same height. Um, in terms of which one's heavier, this one has a bit more weight to it, probably because it's more, more chunkier and chubbier. But for figures that are about the same price, you can't go wrong with these. And for some more size comparisons, here he is with uh, my two favorite Godzilla figures in the entire collection. The NECA Godzilla 2014 and the Funko Pop Godzilla 2021 10-inch uh, Giant Godzilla from Godzilla vs. Kong 2021. I mainly like this guy because he's chunky, and I like this guy for nostalgia's sake, but hit the subscribe button for this face. Who can resist him? Hey, he can kind of hold the uh, Johnny Lightning 50-year Godzilla Jeep. Granted, it's more resting on his shoulder, forearm and shoulder rather than him actually holding it, but close enough. But uh, anyways, with that being said, um, do I recommend him? Absolutely. For only ten dollars and twenty dollars, if he's uh, if you buy him bundled with the Godzilla 2000 figure, 1999, whatever you want to call him, he's a fantastic release. Honestly, I do think that he has a very certain appeal. I don't think he'll appeal to everybody, but for a ten dollar Godzilla figure, which is a miracle given the fact that Monsters and X pluses are like way big in terms of price. This actually is not that bad, and I don't. Comp I just compared this to a Monster and X Plus, but honestly, I'd rather be stuck with these than more QC infested figures like these. I'm kidding. The two, the the only QC issue I really find on this one is just joints popping up. But even then, that's annoying to handle. Um, I'm looking at you, 2004 Godzilla from Monster Arts, new release popping off, muddy paint apps, blah, hundred dollars. Double blah. Uh, with that being said, uh, thank you guys for uh, watching. Uh, hope you guys subscribe to the channel. If you did uh, find this video interesting, uh, definitely leave a like. Again, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out, everybody.